Hello, welcome and thanks for choosing this video course. In this video, I'll be talking about how to attract high paying clients, which is a simple six steps, starting from how to propose a sale with your potential client to closing the sale. For the first step, there are two aspects that you need to cover on. Firstly is the purpose of the call and secondly, setting expectations and establishing credibility. One, the purpose of the call. When it comes to initiating a call with a client, you need to set up the purpose of the call. A good example to kick things off is saying, Hey there, client's name. I'm calling because you submitted an application to me. I get hundreds of applications a day compared to hundreds of applications that I've read, and your story is the most compelling to me. That's why I'm giving you a call back. Do you still remember submitting an application on my website? And is this a good time to talk? 2. Setting Expectations and Establishing Credibility The next thing you should touch on once your client has complied and is available to talk, you can start with setting up expectations and establish credibility about yourself to the client by saying, The reason why we have such a high success rate with the people we work with is because we take the time to really get to know them, so we have the ability to truly help them. So the way this works out is that I'm going to ask you some questions about your background and experience so I can come up with a success plan for you. At the end, we can decide if this is going to be a good fit for both you and me. Does that sound fair? Understanding the client's needs and building trust. For the second step, there are three phases that you need to go through to fully understand your client and build a mutual trust between you and the client. In the first phase, you need to know their current situation. You need to uncover what they like, such as asking, Did you watch all the videos? Even the ones on the thank you page? What is it about the video that made you want to apply? What did you like about it? Moreover, you need to understand their background and their current struggles as well by asking, I'm curious about you. What's your background? What's your story? How many hours do you currently work right now? How long have you been trying to succeed with this? Are the people in your life, your friends and family supportive of your goal? Why now? What's the biggest thing driving you to make this happen now more than ever? In the second phase, you need to know and discover their dreams and goals. What is your goal? How much do you want to make per month in the next 90 days? Then ultimately, how much do you want to be making? Repeat back what they said. Once you're making that, how would that change your life? What would that do for you? Additionally, you need to find out the obstacles that they're facing by asking, those are really good goals. Right now, what's stopping you from achieving your goals? What are your biggest obstacles, frustrations, and challenges? Thank you for sharing that. So if you solve that problem once and for all, you think you'd finally succeed? Our first goal would be to replace your income. Then the next goal would be to replace the income of your household. Right now, what would it take to replace your income because that would be our first goal. In the third phase, you need to build trust. You can start by acknowledging and reassure their decision by starting, You know what I deeply respect and appreciate about you? It's the fact that you are persistent, very persistent, and you never gave up no matter how hard it got. Also the fact that you just took action. You watched my videos, went through the entire process, and filled out the form. Most people just let opportunities pass them by, but you took action. Where did you learn that from? Were you always like that? Moreover, you should build commonalities with your client by sharing your story and relate it if possible by stating, Thanks for sharing that. I can completely relate. Now here's my story and then you share with them what you have in common and open up. Build a connection. Most of my successful clients have one thing in common. They never gave up and they always had the drive to succeed, no matter what. All they needed was a little guidance. Someone who's been there, done that, to show them what to do. So I'm excited for your success. Moving on to the third step, which is educating your clients. What you should do is basically help them by actually helping them. What I'm trying to do is give them new advice, such as success, talking about what mistakes most people make, and what you should do and why. Next, you need to put emphasis on the big reasons why people fail, such as not having a mentor and no proper guidance, lack of technical skills, and insufficient time. Additionally, you can touch on lottery mentality mindset versus business mindset. 
basically one of the big reasons people fail in their business is because they're having a lottery mindset when running their business. They are expecting good results with zero or less effort from their side. They want to grow their business, but they're not willing to invest in their business. Successful business people have a different way of thinking and a different mindset, which we call a business mindset. They understand the power of scaling. They know if they want to grow their business, they need to invest money into their business. They will not be doing everything by themselves. In fact, they'll outsource some of their work, as they know how to better use their time and leverage on other people's expertise. They don't give up easily when, at first, things don't turn out as well as they want. In fact, they'll review and change or twist their strategies until it works. If you realize your client's mindset is towards lottery mindset, then you've got to spend some time to educate him or her during the call to ensure they are having a right mindset before you lead them to the next sales process level. Pre-presentation framing. Another aspect that you should touch on is offering a formula to become successful. The formula of success basically touches on mindset, skills, mentor, and ways to get the work done for you. Now let's get on to the fourth step, which is pre-presenting framing, where you need to assess your client's overall situation starting from Step 1. Qualifying and assess their commitment where you can ask about Have you ever had a mentor or coach before? How are you